Good morning. So today we are writing our essays, which is exciting. If you guys did a really good job on your planning page, this shouldn't be too terribly hard because today we're going to work a lot with the ideas and the things that we already have in our brain. So I'm going to go over to my planning page from yesterday and I'm going to work through my um, essay with you guys. Now remember, I'm not doing it necessarily on your topic just because I want to keep your ideas fresh and make them your own. So if I say too much about the topic, sometimes that gives you ideas and then your paper becomes very much like mine. And I would rather hear what you know and what you want to say. Couple really important points. We are writing in third person, so you're not going to talk about your tradition. You're talking about traditions as a whole. So all the traditions you know about from the world. So you know that some people put one color of lights on their tree. You know that some people use multiple colors of lights on their tree. You know that some people don't use lights on their tree. Okay, that's a tradition that you might know about. Um, you, if you're writing about the past Christmas trees to the present Christmas trees, you probably know that people used to use popcorn. They would string popcorn for their trees. They would string cranberry for their trees. Um, very, very long time ago, I've seen where people put candles on their trees. Kind of scares me about fire hazards, but um, they did it. So we know things from the past. Our brains are so big and they hold so much information. And if we think in boxes and categories, that will help us. So thinking in a category would be, I'm going to think about lights and all the things I know about lights. And then I'm going to think about ornaments and all the things I know about ornaments. Some of you guys may have themed trees. So your tree is a snowman or your tree has all Santa Clauses on it or your tree has all birds on it. Um, or maybe you have a very sentimental tree like mine where all the ornaments, I can tell a story about them. I know where I got them or wh why I have them or who they were passed down from or who made them. Or maybe you have different trees. Maybe you have a very elegant tree and it's decorated with, you know, fancy ribbons and tissues and beads and all these things. And then maybe you do have also a sentimental tree. So you guys have a wealth of schema that you can use about Christmas tree traditions. Even if you don't have a Christmas tree, you probably know some of these things. So let's remember that when we're building our body paragraphs, they're going to be based upon what you already know. How we write them is going to be in third person. And how we write them is going to be um, using the words like some people. Some people use this. Or you might start with popcorn has always or has been used. We don't want to say always. Popcorn has been used in the past as a tree decoration. Um, you guys can set this up however you want, but we're just not going to say my tradition or our traditions. We're going to talk about as a whole things that we know many people maybe do. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to switch. Um, I can't get this in. Okay. So in your writing prompt, or with your writing prompt, you guys should have written your three main focuses for your body paragraphs. Mine are here, memories, useful, and working with family elders. These are going to become my paragraphs. Now for the introduction, you know we need a good hook. And then we have our thesis right here. And we need a transition down into our body paragraphs. So what I'm going to do is come down here. I really don't know exactly what hook I'm going to use. <clears throat> but starting with a question is easier <clears throat> for me. So I'm just going to say something like, um, do, do you and your family have any special traditions related to 
baking around the Christmas holiday. Okay, that's a question hook. It's fine, we can use that, it's perfectly acceptable. We do need to indent though, because it is the beginning of a paragraph. And then my next statement is going to be my thesis. And so for my thesis, I'm just gonna say, many people have traditions about baking, traditions for maybe, baking around the holidays because it allows them to spend time with the elders of their family. It is useful and it um, helps them create memories. So there is my thesis right there. Okay, let's highlight that so you guys can see it clearly. That is my thesis. That tells the reader where this paper's going. So my next sentence is just something I want to say, something else about traditions. Um, maybe I want to say, um, let me think here. I'm activating my schema. Traditions are fun for many people. And baking is fun too. Now I'm going to transition down to my first body paragraphs. So what that means is I'm going to have to Actually, guys, I think I'm going to take this out because that might be considered an opinion. So I'm just going to take this sentence out. Mm. I'm going to say this. Traditions can be different for different families. Now I'm going to transition down. I'm going to say um, often... A tradition begins with an elder, and I'm going to throw in a context clue, or older family member. They don't like my comma. Okay. So, I've got my introduction paragraph already done. Look at that. Now I'm going to come down here and start my body paragraph. I need to actually remember what I was going to talk about. So I'm going to go back to my planning page and see that I was going to talk about how the recipes are passed down, they teach other methods to bake, and we get to spend time with them. So my first sentence is going to be something about spending time with them because I think that's going to work. So spending time with um, family elders can be exciting for family members, especially around the holidays. Okay, um, then I'm gonna, I wanted to talk about, what was my other thing? Oh, the, the recipes they passed down. So I'm just gonna say something like this. Many elders know great, oh, uh, I'm actually gonna bring in, techniques or tricks to making delicious treats that we may not, not we, because that makes changes a person, right? Making to making, why don't they like my making? Okay, to make delicious treats, I can say it that way. Many elders know great techniques or tricks to make delicious treats that Sometimes younger people do not know. And then I'm going to say elders also have recipes that have been passed down to them 
that they can pass down to their family members. Now, I was if I was going to cite something, I'm going to have to make this up because I don't have an article. I could say, according to Baking with Elders, we always want to put a comma after that. Then you're going to start your quotation marks. Um, children report enjoying spending time with older family members as one of their most loved events around the holidays. Okay, so there's my citation. So now I'm ready to go on to my next paragraph. I've gotten plenty of sentences. I've got a good solid essay. So now I'm just going to transition down. Another, remember we use those transition words and they're in your notebooks, guys. We put those lists and if you don't find them in your notebooks, go back on the modules and look for um, where it says hooks and leads and transitions. There's lots of notes in there for you guys. Okay, so another would be one of those transition words that we're adding to. We're going to add another reason why it's great to um, have a baking tradition or that why baking traditions are good. Okay, so another benefit, ooh, that's a good word choice right there. Another benefit to baking traditions is that... Mm, I need to be careful using that. I may want to use that as my next sentence starter. I think I do. So I'm going to enter this and save it right there as my next paragraph starter. Let me go back and see what we were going to talk about. Oh, we were going to talk about useful. Hmm. But remember yesterday I told you it might be better to, to I, I might have a better idea later on and I can change things if I want to. I actually do right now. I actually want to change my layout a little bit and I want to put memories before useful. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start right here and say memories are a great, that's an opinion word, memories are a part hmm I don't like that sentence see guys we can make mistakes it's okay making memories with elders is just one reason why baking traditions hmm do I want it to say that making memories with elders is part of baking traditions. We'll just leave it at that. This part of what happens with many people baking traditions. There we go. Okay, another benefit to baking traditions is that we create memories. Okay, and I think I'm going to put my citation here this time because we don't want them at the end every time. So I'm going to say, according to, now I need a new, tar new article, Martha. Mm, oh, I know who I like. Rachel Ray's, according to Rachel Ray, being messy creating a tasty treat being messy while that's probably how she would say it don't you think while creating a tasty treat can create laughing 
can create love, can mm, makes for a fun memory. Let's leave it like that. I should say messy. Being messy while creating a tasty treat makes for a fun memory. I think Rachel Ray would say that. Okay, so now what did I even want to talk about? I've already forgotten. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to look. Okay, I wanted to talk about spending time with family members, teaching younger people so they can continue traditions, and how they're fun for children. So I'm going to say many children will remember baking with a family member for four years, okay? I want to provide an example because I haven't done that yet in this paper. So what if I were to say something like, um, what do I know about Christmas traditions? I know that my kids love sprinkles. We put sprinkles on everything. And they laugh because I like the little bitty tiny ball sprinkles and they like the other kind. I also like the crystal sprinkles. But every time we make something, it does not turn out very good. We just have sprinkles everywhere. So what if I say something like this? Some families, I'm that some family. Remember, we can't put my in there. We can put some families because we are some families. Some families have a baking tradition of using sprinkles and icing to decorate cookies. Other families may get together and make their favorite pies or cakes. See, there we go. We've given an example. Now I wanted to talk about, we've talked about how it was fun for children. We've given a good example. And we're going to now say, we want to talk about how we can pass these down. So, baking traditions are important because they continue the, mm, I don't like that. Baking traditions are important because when families, when people, let's just say people because it could be friends. So, when people gather to create these, to cook, they are teaching and demonstrating how to make different foods. Then the recipe can continue to be passed down. Baking traditions can be a useful, there's that last body paragraph, this is my transition, way to celebrate the holidays. Then I would begin my final body paragraph. <clears throat> Baking traditions are not just fun. They are useful too. And then I would go on and explain about what do I know about why they're useful. Because we can use the baked goods as a gift. We can... Um, what else did we say up here? We can use it to spread joy to strangers. Um, <clears throat> we can save them and make them part of the Christmas meal. So not only are we having all this fun baking, but we're also getting one of the desserts out of the way for the Christmas meal or whatever it may be, or the holiday meal. So that is how you would construct a body paragraph and your introduction paragraph for your essay. Now, I know that that looks super easy and like I just whipped that up and it may not be that easy for you but I think if you remember 
that you have all this knowledge about these things in your head, especially with Christmas tree traditions, you'll be okay. So just think about what do you want to say? Stay on topic. If you're talking about lights, keep talking about lights and relating it back to those Christmas traditions. I think you can do that. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and let me know if you need anything from me. I'll be happy to help. I'll be on and off all day between videos and emails and Canvas. I will do all the things, so um, let me know if you need something.